Hey guys! Welcome to London Diaries with Shika. So today's video is on this look right over here and if you're curious to find out how I got it then please keep watching. Okay so first I'm going to prime my eyes and for that I'm going to use MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Next I'm going to set this base with Makeup Geek shade over here, Creme Brulee. The next shade that I'm going to take is this darker shade over here, again from Makeup Geek. I don't remember the shade name, but I'm going to try and find it and list it down below. Now I'm going to take this Peacock Green shade over here. From This is from MAC and I'm going to apply it all over my lid using a flat shadow brush. Okay next I'm going to take this brown shade by Makeup Geek again and I'm going to blend my crease out because I've applied the green color so I just want to make sure it's all blended together as green. the green I have used is pretty dark. Okay so for eyeliner I'm going to use Tom Ford's eye defining pen. Okay, so now we move on to our face and I'm going to start with priming. So for that I'm going to use Radiance Primer from Smashbox. Okay, now I'm going to use this glow stick from Marc Jacobs and apply it on high points of my cheek. Now I'm going to take this cream pigment from Alabasca for my under eyes dark circle. For foundation, I'm going to use Perrier Gold from Guerlain and I'm going to mix a drop of RMS Beauty Oil with this. Okay, foundation done. Now we move on to concealer and for that I'm going to use my favorite Tarte Shape Tip in medium. Okay, and also I am going to highlight the usual places using Dandelion Shy Beam. Set under my eyes using RCMA No Color Powder. Quickly spray my face with MAC Fix Plus so the foundation is set. So next I'm going to set my entire face using Charlotte Tilbury's Air Blush Flawless Finish Powder. Now is the time for slight contouring and for that I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow, the darker shade. I just don't have too many sculpting products and that's why this is my reliable buddy. Contouring done, now it's time for baking and for that I shall be using Laura Mercier Invisible Loose Setting Powder, so let's get started. So while all this bakes, let's finish the rest of the eyes and by that I mean let's do the eyebrows real quick. I'm using Anastasia's Brow Wiz. So the eyebrows are done and now it's time for inner corner highlight and just under the brow bone and for that I'm going to use Eyebrow Glow from Elf. I'm going to line my lower waterline with this nude shade from Rimmel. 
And for mascara, I'm going to use L'Oreal Full Slash Sculpt Mascara. So now let's get rid of all the baking and finish off with blush and highlighter. Okay, for blush I shall be using Marc Jacobs Flesh and Fantasy. So for highlighter I'm going to use Tom Ford's Reflect Gilts and it's uh, if I can open it. Um, it's a two shade highlighter and I'm going to use the pinky one. To set my entire face, I'm going to use Armani Primer Setting Spray from Giorgio Armani. For lips, we're going to go for Pillow Talk. I'm going to use Lip Cheat by Charlotte Turkey in the shade Pillow Talk and then I'm going to top it off with Pillow Talk Lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury again. So let's do that. Right, guys so this is the finished look i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions then please do leave them in the comment section down below and until next time please keep smiling